In life, there are moments when the universe intervenes, when fate places us at the precipice. In a blink of an eye, everything changes. was suspended in time in the profound silence that followed the screech of the tires and the shattering of glass. I found myself suspended between life and the great unknown. In the aftermath of this near-death experience, I stood at the crossroads of existence, my soul echoing with the soft whispers of mortality. Little did I know that this moment would become a revelation that would ignite a journey through my entire life, culture, and the depths of my human heart. From the brink of darkness, a new light emerged. A light that guided a truth hidden in the purpose and meaning of life. In a beautiful interaction with my godmother, I recently discovered our family's indigenous heritage. A heritage that had remained hidden for generations. It was like a cloud was lifted to find a missing piece of my heart. A piece that had longed to be reconnected. Hello. My spirit name is a water cloud. I got the mom you know. My clan is uh, the Marin clan, and I have Anishinaabe or Ojibwe. Right? Government name is David Plain. And today I want to tell you a, a little bit about uh, the spirituality of the Anishinaabe or Ojibwe people. We, we find our relationship to the land is, is very, very important to us. And the reason for that comes from one of our creation stories. And this story follows the, the Western story that comes from the Bible up to a certain point. It's, it's exactly the same. And it goes like this. The Creator created everything. And He created the moon and the stars. He created the earth and He created everything that moves on the earth. He created everything that flies in the sky, everything that swims in the water. and the last thing that he created were human beings. Now, he created the human beings weak and vulnerable, and they wouldn't be able to, to make it if, if they didn't have help. So he called a council. All of the things that he created, because everything has a spirit, and he created, he, he called this council of all of the spirits of all of the things that he created and asked them if they would help the human beings. If they didn't help the human beings, then the human beings would go out of existence. So all of the spirits had a council on their own and they discussed whether they should help the human beings or not. And they decided that they would, so they come back to the, the council of the creator and and uh, they told him, yes, we all agree to help uh, the human beings to survive. And so what that does is it puts us on a, at the bottom of a hierarchy so that everything is above us, the environment is above us, and the environment has, has a spirit. And that is where the, the name Mother Earth comes from. So that's why we have a, a such such a gratitude towards the 
towards Mother Earth. And that was at the beginning of creation. As the stories and the sacred smoke weaved its ethereal dance within the ancient longhouse, the heartbeat of generations began to resonate through the time-worn walls. The elders' words, like whispers, carried me like the wind, echoing the tales of heritage etched in the very cosmic fabric. Amidst the flickering light of the flames, the stories became alive, painting the air with hues of wisdom and ancestral magic. But as the longhouse doors of my perception swung open to the vast expanse of the universe, a cosmic swirl from within the sacred fire began to initiate in me a spatial journey that began to defy the constraints of time and space. With each word, I found myself not just within the hollowed longhouse, but also transposed seamlessly to the heart of my inner woods, a mystical realm where the spirits of my lineage spoke softly to explore the rustling leaves beneath the towering canopies and amidst the dappling sunlight, the earthly connection to my roots became palpable, uniting past, present, and future. I delved into a surreal communion with the spirits of both realms, a sacred converged in a seamless embrace of self-discovery, transcending the layers of time, beginning to fold upon themselves, revealing a continuum where the stories of ancestors intertwined with the very essence of my being. This became not just a transition, commencing a metaphysical voyage as the past was calling to embrace this land's ancestral legacy and in doing so, discover a profound love that transcends time, space, and matter. As I walk on this sacred land, I realize that love knows no boundaries. It's a force that unites us all, regardless of the distance and time that separates us. It's a story about the enduring power of global love and the unaltered strong determination of the supernatural human spirit that is the story of all of us as one family and a love that surpasses borders, time, and adversity. This is the story of unearthing roots, the global love that binds us all. with my indigenous roots and culture is not just an exploration of my personal history. It's a profound way to honor the wisdom, traditions, and knowledge that have been passed down through countless generations. A gift from the universe for the opportunity to learn from ancestral teachings, to respect the land and its resources, and to actively participate in the beautiful tapestry of indigenous storytelling, art, music, and rituals. The act of reconnecting with indigenous past is an act of love, respect, and a deep longing to understand and celebrate the indigenous identity that we have always been part of. In doing so, together, we are contributing to the preservation and revitalization of indigenous cultures, ensuring that it will remain vibrant for years to come. as this process is an incredible testament to the enduring spirit of indigenous cultures that have been preserved often against incredible odds through the ages. This journey is a powerful personal reminder of how important heritage is in shaping our identity, reflecting the universal human need for connection and the resilience of those who seek to understand, embrace and preserve their cultural roots inspiring compassion, empathy, and a sense of unity among those who may be on similar paths of self-discovery or grappling with questions of identity.
this reconnection process isn't just a personal journey. It is a part of a profound cultural awakening that has always deeply resonated within us to reach for. In indigenous cultures, connecting to the spirit or the higher power, often referred to as the creator, is seen as the ultimate guiding source of strength in times of difficulty, as it offers solace and provides a wise moral compass for life-enhancing decision-making during challenges. Recognizing mindfully a deeper understanding for our natural and supernatural environment's life force with a sense of humility is a sacred bond characterized by a reverence for all living and non-living beings encouraging us to live in harmony with the world within and around, reminding us that we're all interconnected and responsible for the well-being of our planet and its inhabitants.